Hello, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. And those of you that are new to my channel, hello, hello. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. Um, now, this is a general reading, so I ask that you please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I also do offer a personal reading, so if you're interested, the, the, the information will be in my description box below. All right, so I've got some messages here for all of you. So if you're ready, let's get right into this here. Okay, I've already got two cards popping out here. Wow, look at this. Two of Swords for you, my lovely Aquarius friends. Look at this. All right, let's take a really good look. This is a strong, powerful woman here, okay? She is standing strong here in like... The best stance ever okay now I feel that for some of you there is a choice that needs to be made I feel like you're at a crossroads and you're trying to um, make a decision okay there is a decision that needs to be made and I feel like there's a wolf in the background here this could be a friend or this could be a foe okay so that's to be determined still now with this card Hmm. You got two candles. So I feel you are very uh, strong. You're determined. You're very confident. Okay. But um, this crossroads, whatever this decision is that you're trying to make, um, it's a tough decision. Okay. This is going to change a lot of things in your life. And right now, spirit guides are really asking you to look at everything and uh and then decide okay maybe you have a strong person that is um supporting you in some way okay or asking you to uh change something i feel like you're um trying to almost like there's something going on in your life that um you know needs to change but maybe you're not uh, wanting to change it maybe you just don't want to see the truth in a situation okay but there is a choice that needs to be made here okay let's see what this other card is four of pentacles all right we've got the two of swords and the four of pentacles all right so i feel like this might have to do with finances or just um Maybe it's a relationship. There's something that you're holding on to really tightly, okay? And I feel that it's almost kind of like you're holding on, um, you're saving, but um, what am I getting here with this? Maybe, okay, I, I'm also getting, because I'm seeing this wolf in this card, that maybe you're protecting yourself and your finances and everything that you currently have in your life um, because you're worried about somebody else taking it from you. Or you feel like someone's going to take it or something's going to happen if you don't hold on to it tightly. And you're like holding on to this very, very strong, very like almost like in a way um, that it's like hoarding. Um, hmm. And so I'm just getting a whole bunch of downloads here as I'm trying to talk. So I feel for some of you, you might be going through a situation where you're noticing that around you right now, things are changing, right? Things are becoming more expensive. Food is expensive. Gas is expensive. All these things are kind of going on right now. Now you're kind of going into this mode where you're like, okay, I need to start saving my money. I need to figure this out because things are changing. Things are getting expensive. And now you're, you have this concern. Okay. But you're very strong. You're a strong person here. Okay. And I feel like you're very capable of doing that, but it's almost like in a way where there's this worry around you. 
okay, there's this worry and um, it's almost like you can predict that there is going to, going to be some sort of a storm coming through, some sort of turbulence, some sort of hard times or challenges or struggles coming in. So you're preparing. It's like you're prepping. That's what I'm getting here. Interesting. Why are you guys prepping, Aquarius? What is going on? Is it maybe in a place that you live where things are, there's almost like scarcity mindset right now for a lot of us. And that is, there's nothing wrong with that because the world is changing. There's things that are, um, like I'm finding, I went to the grocery store the other day. So here's an example. Um, we have a save on foods by our house that shut down and they opened. So there's a scare about food shortages. Okay. And so I went to the grocery store. I hate going to the grocery store, by the way. I went to the grocery store. It shut down the Save on Foods that was by my house. So they opened a huge, giant, super version of the Save on Foods just down the street. So I pop in there. Gosh, it was like being hit in the face with like abundance of food. There was so much so that it was like, holy cow, what the heck? I was hit in the face with like cakes everywhere like there's a deli section of like meats and cheeses and I just was I, I usually when I go into the grocery store I have a plan right I usually know exactly where everything is in the grocery store I'm like bing bang bada boom done get home get out of there as quick as possible but no this time I was kind of like food shortages but everything was so expensive I walked out with a few items $80 later and oh my gosh, so I totally understand where you're coming from right now. Um, and yes, we do have to kind of prepare for things changing and totally get where you're coming from because I'm doing the exact same thing. I, I said to my husband, we need to start um, slowly kind of stocking up for a couple of months just in case because winter's coming and, you know, things are kind of weird right now in the world. And I feel... This is the energy I'm getting from you here, Aquarius, with the um, Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. It's like you're preparing, you're starting to plan things out for, and here it's winter. Look at the snow on the mountains, right? And you're getting ready to prepare for this. And I'm also getting the Ten of Swords. I feel like you've been through something really tough. You've been through hard times, so you know exactly how that feels you've been in that um moment or maybe um and again i'm getting wolves here so you've been taken advantage of quite a bit here in the past i'm getting okay so you have your guards up and i feel that you're in a place right now that it's almost like you don't know who to trust okay um But you're very strong though. You're very, very strong and I feel like you're going to come through this, okay? If you're somebody that is worried about hardships or going through times of a tough situation right now and you're worried about the people around you because you've been hurt in the past, you've been taken advantage of, okay? So you're just being extra cautious. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. Don't feel like because you're listening to me reading about this, that there's something wrong. There isn't nothing. There is nothing wrong with this. And it is good to be prepared. It is good to have extra food because you just never know. And this is probably because your spirit guides are guiding you to do this because maybe there is some sort of an event coming or there's something that's happening. Again, there is that bad weather in here. There is snow. So maybe, um, you're intuitively able to just connect and understand that, okay, we need to hunker down. We need to prep. We need to prepare. Okay. This is your spirit guides letting you know it's now time to do that because you just, um, don't know what's coming forward. I feel like there might be some sort of like weather related event that is going to happen. And that is why you are doing this. A very interesting reading for sure. Cause um, yeah, this is definitely something that's different. And I feel that these wolves aren't necessarily um, bad. They almost look like they're kind of, um, maybe you were in a position that um, you were at an ultimate low or people burned you or you were taken advantage of. And there may be someone that, or a couple people that have helped you out, right? So you do have support around you. I do feel that there is support around you here. 
All right, my Aquarius friends, so 10 of swords, 2 of swords. So I feel a lot of this with the sword energy. I do feel this is um, somewhat in your mind as well. This is something that you're thinking and that you're worried about and it's giving you it might be stressing you out a little bit or giving you anxiety around it, right? Um, spirit guides really want you to not overthink things, okay, or make irrational decisions because you're worried or afraid. Um, it's okay to be prepared and to take action because I'm seeing here with the Four of Pentacles that you are taking action toward um, prepping and making preparations and being um ready for whatever it is that there's to come um wherever you are in the world okay with the um ten of swords here so uh what else are we getting here with the ten of swords i feel like you've been through situations where you've gone through crises you've gone through like the lowest of lows you've been pinned down you've gone through changes like you are someone that's come through a really really like heavy like energy of just a lot in your life here okay that is the energy i am getting so do what you need to do my friends i mean you're obviously being guided to do this for a reason we're also getting the star card here my friends okay um spirit guides here want you to know that you are protected you are protected and they really want you to know that, okay? Um, no matter what it is that you're thinking that things are going to be uh, really bad, they want you to know that you're very protected, okay? You have divine angels, you have spirit guides, you have so much protection that you don't need to worry so much about this. Yes, prepare, do whatever you need to do, but no, there's no worry around it, okay? Especially because you are a person that... Um, takes actions and uh, thinks about things before they happen and I feel that you are being intuitively guided but not to overdo it okay really look at your finances as well to see if you're able to um, manage what you are doing currently okay and with the star card I'm getting that um, I feel like there's some sort of an opportunity coming in here for you as well okay to be very aware of things that are being presented to you right now and not to overlook um, or to be in this like protective mode that you miss opportunities. I feel like the universe is going to be presenting if it already hasn't done so there is some sort of um, an opportunity coming in here for you okay and this is a good opportunity. This is something that is going to help you. This is something that is um, it's almost like you've had this hope or faith that something is going to work out even though you're preparing and planning i feel that spirit guides want you to know that you are protected okay and um there is an opportunity coming in here for you um a blessing almost okay there's it's like you have this hope for there's like this i feel some of you are very spiritual some of you pray um and spirit guides want you to know that things are going to be okay and um, they're with you and there's something good coming into your life here in a little bit okay so be prepared for that um, something beautiful coming in for some of you here so I'm gonna pull one more card um, Wow, five of swords, more sword energy and look at this there's mountains and you're warding off the negative energy around you okay so I feel like you're just being protective um, this might be because you have a family maybe you have children maybe you have siblings maybe you're just um, protecting yourself and what you have right now and spirit guides want you to know that you are protected they have your back and that's this person is looking behind them saying that don't worry I've got this you are protected I feel this is you Okay, Aquarius, I feel this is you. You're protecting what you've got. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm very much like that as well. So, you know, I've got two daughters, so I'm very protective. I've got a husband. I've got uh, family members that I live with here. We've got a big family in this house. So I'm very protective of my family and um, try to do whatever I can to make sure that we are always protected. 
Um, and I feel like my whole family is that way. And um, we try to prep and prepare exactly how you're doing, right? So you keep doing what you're doing, my friend, because know that your spirit guides and your angels are also with you. There's some good things coming in here for you. And not to worry because look, these wolves are gone. Okay, they know they can't mess with you. There's no way. Okay, so no matter how you feel, um, we've got some swords down. And this is just, I feel a lot of this is more in your head than it actually is in real life. Um, so, and, and a lot of this is fear-based too. I, I'm getting right now that um, some of this could be um, brought in through social media or stuff that you're watching. Um, to tone that, down, tone that down a little bit, right? Um, just to turn that off, that screen off for a little while, just so you feel a little bit more content. I'm not saying that you should completely turn that off, right? You should definitely be, definitely be prepared and um, make sure that your family and you are well protected, right? But I feel like you're in good hands. You are being protected by the divine, the universe, okay? You have support around you as well. And um, there are some good opportunities that are coming in here for you, my friends. So um, know that you are in good hands. And um, spirit guides just really want you to know that you are protected, you are loved, and they're with you no matter what. And you can always call on them if you need help or if you need assistance or you need uh, a little guidance, okay? They, th they guide you through signs, symbols, dreams, feelings, intuition, that sort of thing. Um, so that is your message, my friends. I hope it resonates for some of you. If it does, please comment below. Uh, I would love to hear all about it. If you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. If you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, everyone, I wanted to wish you a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.